Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to 30 Days of Sketches 9. We're on to day 14 and the sketch today is provided by the lovely Jessica Michaels. She is just one of my favorite scrappy people and I love this sketch. It's all hexagon themed with some mixed media and I can see so much amazingness that is going to come out of the sketch from all of you. I'm going to take it in a little bit of a different direction, and I'm sorry about the camera zooming in and out while you watch me do this misting. I did not think about the fact that it would do this, so please um, just close your eyes for a couple minutes or just bear with me. Um, I am using the heart, the, the EXO cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. This was a new release from February. And you saw me use the outside of it for day five already. And this is the actual cut file that I'm now using pretty much as a mask. And then just spraying all these different colors. And you can see for the most part, I've got all these different blue colors because I had total plans to use this as another summer water kind of background. Like I was almost going to do like a two page with the, the idea of this XO thing. Neither one of them ended up being <laughs> Christmas, or not, excuse me, not Christmas, but summer water themed, which is hilarious to me, but that had been my original plan. So instead, what I did was off camera, I added some purple or pink um, little spots as well, which you can see there. I'm now going to go ahead and poke a whole lot of holes. And this first one that you're seeing me poke was pointless because I'm going to cover it up with my photo and, um, you know, whatever. But I grabbed a bunch of colors. Now, if you are a kid that is, or if you are a parent of a kid that is a little bit on the younger side, you're going to notice these colors are very Paw Patrol colored because that's what I'm documenting here. Nora's first trip to the movies because of COVID was delayed a little bit. So when this Paw Patrol movie was coming out to theaters, Sean and I were like, yes, this is what we need to do. We need to get her out, let her go experience it and have some fun. So that's what we did, and I thought that it would be fun to kind of give a nice little hint to it because the photo is in black and white um, to add in the Paw Patrol colors within my stitching. And that's my little nod to the movie. Figured it worked. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Just something kind of in the back of my mind that I felt was just going to work. And this, the way I layered the cut file and then missed it, I feel like these XOs, this X and heart or whatever you want to call it, I feel like it kind of mimics where the hexagons would be within Jessica's sketch. And that is how I take in this sketch. Here's a close up of what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you the other things that I added into this sketch because I just did not know how I wanted this to turn out. <laughs> My decisions are, I found a couple other cut files I just had in my stash, and they are popcorn and the drink, so it made me think of the movie theater. One of them I created into a shaker pocket, like you can see there, using some scraps and then some sequins from Spiegel Mom scraps. The other one with the popcorn, I put the, I put it on like I was going to make a shaker pocket, so it's got the plastic. And then I used the modeling paste with some yellow mist and I'm going to mix it up and I'm just going to like spread it across so it looks like popcorn and just kind of played. I wanted to see what the effect would look like and I really love how it turned out. It was really cool. There's like one little spot where the unfortunately the mixed media got on the front side of it. So there's a little bit of a yellow on the white lines of the cut file, but it's neat. I am so excited about how that turned out. And it gave different textures and two different ideas because, you know, you want there to be some kind of fun. And I was playing and this layout just kept having more and more things added on to it. It was really funny. It took me four days to create this layout. No joke. I, I just kept going back and like tweaking it and adding things. But I'm very happy with how those turned out, I'm going to get everything glued down with the journaling, talking about exactly what I told you, how it was delayed for her, but we saw Paw Patrol was coming out, so we knew that would be perfect for our girl. Let her go and enjoy her first experience at the movies. I dug into my stash and was able to add a few extra things. So I'm going to get the title to say Trip to the Movies, and then I had a few L Studio 
kind of stickers that I got. They're so, I mean, I couldn't even tell you, probably three years old. Like I've had them for a long time. So I managed to get all three of those used up. A little um, piece of ephemera that's a heart shape. That's that bright yellow, which matches the stitching, what was, which is fabulous. That is from an Amy Tan line from a while ago. And I got this clear sticker camera, which again, has been in my stash forever. I get that used up as well with the year on it so that I kind of remember when this happened. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't need a whole lot else. It's, it's pretty busy the way it is. And I just, this layout just makes me smile. So completely different take on the sketch than I think you're going to see for most people. I think most of us are probably going to use hexagons because it's the first sketch that you see with hexagons. There will be more coming up. So if you're a hexagon fan, good news for you. But I hope you enjoyed this. I really loved this sketch. And every other sketch you see for the rest of the month, like I said, has been created especially for this series by all of the lovely ladies within our community that you'll recognize their names. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget the links for everyone's channels will be down below so you can see what everyone else has created today. And if you're interested in playing, you can use the hashtag 30DSCBL9 or leave your photo in the comments in the Facebook group. Here's a look at my finished layout. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.